everyone knows that marijuana is very much linked to something known as the munchies, right? You smoke a little weed and all of a sudden you want to eat a lot of chocolate or ice cream or stuff that you just shouldn't eat. I speak from personal experience. Now there is one study though that says that there's some correlation between those who smoke marijuana and lowered risks of obesity. Now I know it sounds crazy but it was published in the Journal of Health Economics and it uh, states who allow medical marijuana saw a reduction in the number of overweight people. The researchers say that these states that have legalized recreational marijuana and medical marijuana saw a 2 to 6 percent reduction in the probability of obesity. This all sounds very weird because again you smoke weed and the first thing you want to do is, is eat really bad food. But what they noticed is people who tend to smoke marijuana drink a lot less and if you drink a lot less well then you're consuming a recreational product uh, that doesn't have any calories versus consuming a recreational product that has a lot of calories. You drink alcohol, of course you're packing on the pounds because it's high in caloric value. Um, now I'd be curious to see how this plays out for people who don't do any type of drug versus people who only smoke marijuana because I'm guessing that the results would be a little different. But it is an interesting outcome and I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. Tony, make your point. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess I don't know all the parameters of the study and I, I don't know what their particular controls are, mm -hmm. but, you know, maybe these people have just high metabolism <laughs> and it doesn't matter whether they smoke or not, they're just always going to be thin. Well, here's another thing to keep in mind. Right now, the states that are more likely to legalize marijuana for either recreational use or medical use are more liberal states. They seem pretty and more, healthy, maybe a healthier yeah. conscious. Yeah, so they found a correlation which could, which could just mean that there's a coincidence. Here's some more of the findings. The findings also showed places that embraced medical weed had roughly $58 to $115 uh, in reductions in per person health care costs. Okay? So it, again, it could just mean that the culture in that given state just tends to be healthier overall. Yeah. Like I think of California and I think of Oregon and I think of states like that it's a little different from Mississippi or Oklahoma. Right, they're munching on like granola and and rice cakes. <laughs> right. But like if you if you if you uh, did that in like they legalized it in Illinois, holy, you'd have just people dropping like flies because pizza and hot dogs and roast beef. Yeah, Chicago man. <laughs> I know. How do you feel about their pizza, Anna? I don't like deep dish pizza. We'll get into that discussion oh. later. Jacqueline, what do you think? Make your point. I mean, I, I think that if people are smoking instead of drinking, it's going to help you lose weight just because alcohol is very unhealthy and it is something that makes people gain weight pretty quickly. I wouldn't suggest smoking marijuana as a weight loss program. Yeah, um, exactly. Don't knock it till you tried it. I, well, I have tried it. No, but, I mean the program. Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, overall, I think smoking marijuana can have a lot of health benefits. I mean, they use it to treat glaucoma. Mm -hmm. It prevents cancer from spreading. Um, actually, I think I've heard that it reverses some of the negative effects of smoking tobacco. That's crazy. Which is very interesting. Obviously, you know, people use it for pain and things like that. And I don't think anyone's reported to have, like, died from smoking. Nope. You know, and obviously that's something that happens from alcohol. So, overall, I think it's, you know... Pretty it's cool relatively thing. harmless, yeah. right? And I say relatively harmless because it's not like it's a completely harmless drug, um, but it's certainly better than consuming alcohol or some of the other products that are legal and readily available. Mm -hmm. All right, so how, uh, when did you first start uh, drinking or smoking or doing recreational stuff, Tony? Well, <laughs> uh, I did. I mean, I I tried it in, in college. I started smoking in college. Mm -hmm. It wasn't it wasn't really for me. I have terrible asthma. Uh huh. So, uh, but I'll eat it. I mean, oh, okay. I'll eat the. <laughs> but haven't you had like weird paranoid panic attacks after eating it? Because well, I have. <laughs> I became fascinated with my bathroom faucet. <laughs> like, I stared at that. I just, the water was running. It's, it's, it's that's another so story. It's so beautiful. Time. It's like a built in waterfall. <laughs> right? <laughs> Life, man. <laughs> Jacqueline, what about you? Uh, I probably started drinking in high school and I didn't smoke until college because I grew up very conservative so I thought it was like this evil drug for a long time and yep. I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, it was college. Yeah, so. for me, I feel like, I know it sounds crazy, but the D.A.R.E. program, as ridiculous as it was, worked for me up until college. College mm -hmm. was when I kind of let loose and even then, um, I wasn't really ever much of a drinker. I would smoke very occasionally and I'm glad that I waited until my brain was fully developed because you know you hear about teenagers doing it and it does have a negative impact on younger people. It makes them a little less ambitious 
And I worry about things like that, right? But at, when you're already an adult, you're already in college, you're a little more responsible, I feel like it's okay to experiment. It wasn't until fairly recently that it became more of a regular thing. And that's because it calms me the fuck down after a <laughs> long ass day of work. You know what you I mean? Just Netflix and chill. With it. Netflix and chill, yeah. And then, by the way, I get the worst munchies, which is why I'm trying to curb my marijuana use because I don't want to gain weight before my wedding. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, tell us when you started drinking and smoking or experimenting. Maybe you tried something different. Comment in the section below. Tell us what you think, and we'll see you soon. Hey guys, I have an awesome new announcement for you. Turns out that The Point will be hosted on the video platform Watchable.com. All you have to do is go to Watchable.com and search for The Point and boom, you'll see our videos, you'll see our content. And we really want to make sure that The Point is available on all these different and awesome, uh, great platforms. So take a look, tell us what you think, and we'll see you soon.